Hello everybody, I hope you're coping with the new self-isolation. Um, um, I decided I'd put a few exercises together for you so you can do them at home. So all you need is your mat or just your carpet and then your socks or wear your shoes if you're on a normal surface, a chair. Um, so we're going to get started warming up. It'll just be a short class, but we're going to, you can do this even once a day or twice a day. And hopefully I'll throw some more videos up over the next few days. So roll the shoulders and roll again. Bring your hands together and reach down, chin down. Reach forwards, bring your arms up and around. Roll your shoulders, bring your hands together, reach down, chin down. Reach forwards, bring the arms up and around. And again, roll your shoulders, bring your hands together, reach down, chin down. Reach forwards, bring your arms up and around. Okay, we're going to roll the right shoulder. Just give it a nice little roll. So big circles. That's it. Loosening up that shoulder. Keeping your back nice and tall, neck long. We're going to roll the other shoulder. So nice full circles with the shoulder. In nice and loose. Perfect. Okay, bring your hands onto your chest. And we're going to lift through the chest, so lifting your chest as high as you can, lengthening through your spine, and then let it relax. Feeling your chest lifting up towards the ceiling, lift, 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 lift. Spine is nice and long. Hold two, three, and relax. And again, this time we're going to pull in your belly button, lengthen as high as you can, lift up through your chest. Two, three, and let it down. Good stuff. Give both shoulders a roll. Okay, we're going to roll the right shoulder, slide down to your knee as far as you can go. Hold it there and come back to the center. Roll the other shoulder, slide down. Feel your ribs lifting away from your pelvis and come up. Again to the other side. Roll the shoulder and slide. Down, so we're loosening out the side of your spine. Come back and roll the other shoulder, slide down and come back. Good stuff. Okay, bring your hands onto your tummy. We're going to widen the feet a little bit. Okay, we're going to sink our knees, so with the knees a little bit bent, and we're going to do our pelvic tilting. So you're rounding your back and arching your back. Or bring your hands on your side, round your back so it's nice and flat and arch forward. So it's like our pelvis is a bucket of water, spilling water out the back and spilling water out the front. So really good for loosening out that lower back, particularly if you're sitting more than you usually are. That's it. Round your back and arch. One more. As you're rounding your back, you're drawing your tummy in towards your spine and as you're arching, you're getting a nice little stretch and come back into your halfway position, straighten through your knees Bring your hands onto your lower tummy again. Okay, we're going to shrug those shoulders up to your ears and lower them down. Shrug up to your ears and lower down. Shrug up to your ears, squeeze them right up to your ears, then get rid of any bit of tension and lower it down. And one more, shrug up to your ears and lower down. Really good. Okay, we're going to do some squats. So we're first of all going to set the core. So you're taking your breath in right down to your tummy. And breathe out. Breathe in right down to your tummy. And breathe out. And to activate the core, we're going to breathe in right down to your tummy. As you breathe out, you're going to feel that pull upwards and inwards as you draw in your lower tummy. So switching on the pelvic floor and hold that there for five, four, three, Two, one, and let it relax. That's it. Breathe in normally. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Pull up through your pelvic floor. Draw your lower tummy muscles. Lengthen through your spine. Hold there. And let it go. Right. We're going to switch on the core. So take your breath in. And breathe out. Pulling in your lower tummy muscles. We're going to bring the hands onto the pelvis. We're going to sit back onto our imaginary chair and push up. So we're squatting. So try to keep your back nice and straight. So 
good movement all down to the hips and the knees. Your knees are staying where they are. They're sitting right back. So sit them all the way back. And go for four, three, as low as you can go. Two, and on the next one, sit down and hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Push up and give the legs a nice little shake. We're going to do one more set of those. So the legs are wider than your hips apart. Ready, put them just draw it in, draw it, bring it in your core, but breathing at the same time. We're going to make sure you're breathing normally. Let's go again. Okay, we're going to go for the six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And on the next one, sit down there for five, four, three, two, one. Push up and give the legs a shake. Okay, so for the next exercise, we're going to do a heel raise. We're going to start working on our calf muscles. So keep your hands on your pelvis where they are. We're just going to lift up through the heels and lower down. So nice and tall and lower down. So keeping your Pilates principles in place, keep your belly button drawn in, lengthening through your spine, lifting through your chest. You're going to lift and lower. So really good for stripping up those calf muscles. Keep your feet strong, good for your knees and your hips. Go for four, three, two, and one. Bring out one leg and circle at the ankle. If you feel you're a little wobbly doing this exercise, just bring your hand onto your chair. Otherwise, it's a good challenge for your balance. Keep the chair near your body, but work on that single leg. But change direction. It's good for this leg to have time on its own. Change to the other side. Kick out the leg and circle at the ankle. And change direction. Perfect. Okay. Bring your feet back to the hips. We're going to tuck in the chin and we're going to roll down. So as far as it's comfortable. Down you go. And come up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tuck in your chin. And imagine your vertebrae rolling down one by one. And go as low as you can. Breathe in as you're down there. And breathe out. Tuck in your tailbone and slowly on curl. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Tuck in your chin. Slowly roll down. And come up. Bring your hands onto your chest. Breathe in. And on the breath out, rotate to the side. So as far as you can to the side. Breathe in there. And breathe out. Come back to the center. Breathe in. And breathe out, rotate the outside. So your feet are staying planted on the mat, just rotating your body. And come back to the center, breathe in. And breathe out, rotate to the side. Hold it there. And come back to the other side. Really good. And come back to the center, give your shoulders a roll. That's it, keep them nice and low, look over your shoulder. Just as far as it's comfortable, doesn't need to be painful or anything, and look over your other shoulder. Come back to the centre. Bring your ear down towards the shoulder, and over towards the other shoulder, and come back to the centre. Roll your shoulders. Bring your hands together, reach down, chin down, reach forwards. Bring the arms out wide and rotate again to the side. Come back through the centre and rotate to the other side. And come back through the centre. Hands onto your tummy. We're going to circle at the pelvis. And change direction. Come back to the centre. Drop your arms by your side. Shrug your shoulders up and down. And up and down. And that's it for your short session. Hopefully I'll add another little video on and have a nice day and do this exercise program once a day, at least if you get a chance.